Hi, my name is Justin. I'm a software engineer with Patch My PC. In today's video, we're going to be showing you some of the new right click context menu items that we've added for each application's checkbox and how you can use these items to control how individual apps get detected and installed within Patch My PC. So we'll go ahead and get started. The first option that we've added here is the ability to disable scanning for this app. When this is enabled, the application will no longer be detected at all. So on this machine, we can see that we have an outdated version of 7-Zip. The version installed is 7.20. And we can see that the latest version's checkbox, or the latest version, would be 18.01. And it's automatically checked for you because we detected it's outdated. Now, if you wanted to completely ignore any future updates for this application, we could simply click that option to disable scanning. What that's going to do for us is it's going to put a line through the item to let you know that it's disabled. And if we were to rescan or reopen Patch My PC, what we're going to notice is it's also no longer detected in the right menu either. And we can see that the header item here turned to green because we no longer have any detected outdated applications within this grouping. So I'll go ahead and reset that to enable it again and rescan. And we can see that it's now being detected as outdated. And we're also listing the outdated version on the right pane. The next option that we've added is the ability to disable silent installations per application. So if we look in the options menu, we've always had the ability to disable silent installs of all applications. So that would essentially make it so that if we went through the process to perform updates, so if we had an application checked and we performed an update, all applications that were selected to be updated would not perform a silent installation. So you would get prompted for each application to actually run through their installer wizard. We got some feedback on our forum saying that users would like the ability to do this on an app level basis. So maybe you have an application with some custom configurations and you just wanna walk through the update installer uh, process manually. That's where this feature could be super helpful where you can do it at the app level. So say we only wanted to do the manual install for 7-Zip. I'll go ahead and check this. And if we were to run this installation, we can see that instead of things going completely uh, silent in the background and you not getting notified at all, we can see that we've actually launched the 7-Zip installer for you and you would actually be able to walk through this installation before Patch My PC would continue on to the next app. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and cancel this because we have a few other uh, options that we wanna show with 7-Zip being outdated. Go ahead and finish that. The next option that we added is the Disable auto updating for this app. So this is actually similar to the old option that we had for skipping the auto updating. What disable auto updating does is it makes it so that if an application is out of date, when we initially start patch my PC, it's not going to ever get auto checked where it would go through and actually do the update. So if you're running patch my PC in silent mode, for instance, or if we were to just uh, restart patch my PC, what we'll notice is that outdated version of 7-Zip is going to automatically be checked and it would automatically get installed if Patch My PC were running in a scheduled task in silent mode or if you were to click perform updates. What the uh, disable auto updating will do is it will have it so that when we initially start Patch My PC, this application will no longer be auto checked. So if you we were running in silent mode, this application wouldn't get updated uh, during that silent installation if you're running this on a scheduled task. If we're manually running it, you can see that it also doesn't auto check here. So if you have an application that you don't wanna just have it check to be updated, whether that's a silent installation or you don't want it, even if it's just a default running in the, uh, in the foreground, if you don't want it to auto check that, this would be a good option to enable. So maybe you want to know, you know, hey, this application is out of date. Here's the old version listed on the right. Here's the new versions checkbox. And I can see that if I wanted to go ahead and just manually click that, I still have the ability to do that. Even though the auto updating is disabled, I could always manually check that for updating. A few other improvements around the context menu. Uh, prior to this version, we used to list a few additional items such as adding to the INI file, but we would also have an option that would be removed from the INI file. What we've done is we've, we've made it so that we're gonna show you the option that's relevant. 
So for example, if I were to add it to the INI file and check this again, we can now see that the option enabled is removed. So we've cleaned up a few items that would show as disabled in previous versions and just toggle them based on the setting that's currently enabled. And one other improvement that we did is for the jump menu hamburger item, if we were to click that, we're now going to color code the groupings of applications based on their compliance level. So we can see that the file archivers, it's showing red, that would allow us to easily jump to that and see, hey, I have an outdated version installed within this app grouping. And if all the apps are up to date, we can also see that we're going to color code them with green, just letting you know that we're all good within the apps within that group. Um, so that covers the video with some of the new features that we added in this version. If you have any feedback, feel free to leave a comment or go to our forums to post any type of feedback items that you might have and things that you want to see in a future version. Thank you for watching.